is going on everybody? How you doing? I am Stagtastic, coming back at you in Way of the Hunter. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I want to extend a very special and warm welcome to you. I'm very glad that you're here, and I hope that I can provide you with all the information that you're looking for, plus more. If you're returning to the channel, I want to thank you for coming back and for your continued support. Without you, this wouldn't be possible, so thank you very much. What you're about to see is the first installment of a series of videos that I am very excited about. Over the course of the next few weeks, I will be compiling videos highlighting everything that you need to know about hunting a specific species of animal found in Way of the Hunter. I hope that the information that I bring is helpful and that it aids you in becoming a better, more successful hunter. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now is a good time for me to encourage you to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. That way, if a, when a video comes out, you won't miss the next installment of the series. If there is something that you think I miss, or if there is a specific animal that you would like me to highlight sooner than later, go ahead, like the video, and leave a comment, and I will respond to you appropriately. With all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our first installment. This is everything that you need to know about hunting white-tailed deer in Way of the Hunter. White-tailed deer are called that name due to the white color of the underside of their tail. When nervous or spooked, white-tailed deer will raise their tail, which signals to other deer that something is not right. So when spooked, the deer will run with their tail upright, waving it back and forth, which mimics a white flag. This white flag essentially tells everyone around them about the impending danger nearby. In addition to raising their tail when nervous, you can often hear deer snort wheeze in your direction when they become alerted to your presence. A deer who snort wheezes at you is the equivalent of them calling you and your mother the worst expletive that you can imagine. This is essentially their way of saying, back off or else. Let's talk about the physical features of white-tailed deer. In Way of the Hunter, white-tailed deer range from an average of 100 pounds to just over 400 pounds for large bucks, and approximately 63 pounds to just under 200 pounds for females. Even without hunter sense on, it is easy to tell which deer are young, adult, or mature simply based on their weight and stature. In addition, whitetail are often confused with mule deer, and this is extremely understandable. However, the thing that you really want to be looking at is their coat. Mule deer have a much darker coat than whitetails overall. And the overall way that you can tell a whitetail buck versus a mule deer buck is that a mule deer's antlers are much broader and much taller in comparison to a whitetail's. A whitetail's tines tend to be much more narrow and tend to form straight up from their brow tines. So for those of you who are playing Way of the Hunter on the hardest ranger difficulty, understanding these key physical features will help you make better decisions about which game to take. Let's talk about which rifles to use while hunting whitetail deer. In Way of the Hunter, there is no shortage of whitetail deer herds. Most herds will consist about seven or eight deer with a healthy mixture of bucks and does. As a side note, make sure to balance out those herds so that there's not an unhealthy ratio of males to females. Whitetails are considered a tier five animal and can be hunted using the tier four, tier five, and even maybe one or two tier six rifles. However, they should be primarily hunted with the tier five rifle. A whitetail's deer recommended hit energy is between 1,543 joules and 3,705 joules of energy. In Way of the Hunter, hunting any animal with any weapon below their minimum or above their maximum recommended hit energy is considered unethical 
and you will lose a hunting star for shooting an animal if this is the case. As I mentioned, you can hunt deer with a tier 4 rifle, which is grandpa's old rifle, as long as the distance doesn't extend past approximately 225 yards respectfully. And like I said, you may be even be able to use one or two tier 6 rifles at much longer distances. This is because it is still considered ethical to harvest a whitetail with a tier 4 or tier 6 rifle as long as the energy is not unnecessarily underpowered or overpowering for the deer. So be sure to carefully calculate your distance if you're planning on using a tier 4 or tier 6 rifle. Your hunt will be considered unethical if you're packing too little or too much of a punch. In addition to losing a star on your hunt, you're also going to notice that you're not going to be able to sell your harvest for top dollar. For a complete list of rifles and their energy outputs at various range intervals, consider watching my video where I break down all that information for you and make it really easy to see. I'll leave a link in the description below. Although it may be appropriate to hunt deer with a shotgun in real life while using buckshot, Unfortunately, buckshot is not available in Way of the Hunter yet. Maybe they'll bring it on another day. And so you should not try to hunt whitetail deer using a shotgun. In addition, whitetails should never be hunted with a tier 2 or tier 3 rifle. Let's talk about shot placement. The best shot placement on a whitetail is in line with their front leg but still below their shoulder blade. Aiming in this area will always ensure that you hit at least one lung and it gives you a greater chance of hitting the heart. Heart shots are not always necessary when hunting, but a heart shot will drop the animal sooner than later. If a heart shot is not available, I would always recommend that you go for the double lung shot. As a general rule, the further back that you hit the animal, uh, such as hitting them in the organs, the stomach, the liver, intestines, the greater chances of allowing that animal to suffer longer than it should and in many cases that animal will actually survive. So strive to take only the best and most ethical shots. I personally would not recommend neck shots although I know hunters who have no issue with head or neck shots. Ultimately, you're going to have to decide for yourself how you are going to be most ethical in the game. Let's talk about habitat locations and need zones. The primary habitat for white cells is twofold. They're going to be the happiest in grasslands, such as in cottonwood and the river mouth areas, and they're going to be happiest in the lowland forest areas, such as in the small paws, the black fox range, the diamond drill, and in green acres. With two primary habitat locations, this makes whitetails one of the most adaptable species in Way of the Hunter, and it ensures that there will never be a shortage of whitetail. In contrast, the secondary habitat location for whitetails is in the highland forest areas, which are the Cascade Forests, Thorn Springs, Hollywich, and the White Pine Orchard. Deer have all three need zone locations available for discovering, those three being their resting sites, their eating sites, and their drinking sites. Deer can be found snoozing at midnight and 3 p.m., they can be found eating at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m., and drinking water at 9 a.m. and 10 p.m. So be sure to use this information to plan your hunts accordingly. In conclusion, White-tailed deer are some of the coolest and most popular large game to hunt amongst the hunting population in the world, especially in North America. They are fiercely adaptable and are inherently stealthy. As you walk through the woods in Way of the Hunter, you may even spook a herd that you didn't even know were there. So be sure to listen for cues such as a doe bleat, a buck grunt, or a twig breaking in the woods to lock onto their location. In Way of the Hunter, there is no shortage of white-tailed deer that you will find roaming the area. And if you're lucky, you might even be able to harvest your very own huge five-star trophy buck. And I really hope that you do. 
That being said, I hope that you found this information valuable, and I hope that it helps you become a better hunter. If you learned something today, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. I really enjoy bringing this content to you every time I enter the woods. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it means a whole lot to me. If you're already subscribed to the channel, be sure that your notification bell is turned on to ensure that you'll be notified when the next installment of the series is released. If there's something that you feel I missed, or if you want to see an animal highlighted sooner than later, leave a comment and let me know what you want to see. Until next time y'all, I am Stacktastic, and we'll see you right back here really soon. Take care, and happy hunting.